Pavel Datsyuk and Red Army face off against Simeon Varlamov and Lokomotiv Yaroslavl. Late in the first, Loko on the PK. Varlamov gets rocked as Mikhail Grabowski runs right into him. Nicholas Hagman is raging. Varlamov is slow to get up, and Tom Rowe calls a timeout. He's not happy either. Varlamov turns out to be okay, though, and remains on the ice. Early in the second now, Alex Chernikov forces Red Army to give the puck up behind their own net. Sergei Plotnikov sets up Artem Anisimov for a shot, and Ilya Brzgalov can't do anything about it. 1-0 Loko. These guys have been productive for Yaroslavl lately. Anisimov scores his fifth of the year, while Chernikov and Plotnikov get their six assists. Still in the second, Loko is on a penalty kill again. Alex Radulov shoots it from point-blank range, and I think we have a favorite for the number one save of the week. Wow! Absolutely robs Radulov. Varlamov leads the KHL with 95.1 save percentage. Yes, I checked that twice. Unreal. Midway through the second, Loko gets on a man advantage and makes Red Army pay. Mark Flood puts it on net, rebound to Plotnikov, and he gets the job done. 2-0 Loko. 22-year-old Plotnikov played 141 games for more in the past three seasons and scored 45 points. That's actually pretty good for a young forward in the K. No wonder Loko wanted to bring him over to Yaroslavl. Just over a minute later, Vitaly Vishnevsky gets the puck to Anisimov and he passes it to Emil Galimov. It's 3-0 Lokomotiv. Here's another guy with a great story. Galimov used to play on the same line with Nail Yakupov on a junior team in Nizhnikamsk. He now plays with Plotnikov and Anisimov on Loko's third line. No, there's no mistake here. That's their third line. I know. Red Army takes a timeout, but it didn't help. Loko keeps pushing forward and piling up scoring chances. And they score again early in the third. Galimov wins the battle. Anisimov finds an open pass to Plotnikov, and he beats Brzgalov again. 4 0 Lokomotiv. Their fans look excited. That's Plotnikov's seventh goal and 13th point of the season. Third point of the night, too. I'd put this guy on my third line anytime. There's the hint of the day if you're into KHL fantasy hockey. 4 0 Lokomotiv final.